hey guys thanks for tuning in to simtech channel so this is a dz400 series vacuum sealer that i've got here which is not working and i've removed the controller board and i am attempting to uh, figure out what is the actual problem on this vacuum sealer so that we can try to provide a possible cure for the vacuum sealer so this is the controller board for the dz400 series vacuum sealer that's i've taken out so that i can do some measurement and see if i can trace where the fault is now as you can see here there are some pcb traces that are already damaged because somebody tried to maneuver onto this controller by desoldering the relay and the, and in the process they damage some trace so i've tested the relay it's working now i decided not to solder the relay onto the board yet just connect some wires extending outside so that we can have uh, more flexibility the only problem i'm facing with this controller board is the vacuum sealer came broken so it's kind of difficult to exactly know how it's operate so if you don't know how it works it's kind of difficult to guess what have gone wrong i've done some reading with the user manual and got a bit of understanding how it's operate and use that information so i can start debugging so to make the story short the way this controller board operate is basically it receives a signal uh into this connector the signal is coming from the lead so once the lead is closed basically you've placed your item and you are ready to seal after setting up the settings then once you close the lead you receive a signal and that signal then trigger this optocoupler which in turn send a signal to the peak microcontroller here now this peak microcontroller will then control one of these two relay drivers so these are the uln2003 uh, relay drivers so basically then the relay drivers will then send a signal to these big relays here so these three relays they're basically controlling the giant transformer inside the vacuum sealer and that transformer is there to control the temperatures when you try to seal okay and you've got another relay the one that is actually disconnected that was suspected of faulty so this relay easier to control another auxiliary contactor that is used to run the motor so once this relay receive a signal also coming from these relay drivers here and the signal is then sent into the auxiliary contactor to start the motor and that's also part of the vacuum process so to start testing uh, this controller board i took a transformer which have uh, an output of 12 volt and 28 volt ac which is the right voltages that i also need for this input connector here because here i've got two voltage regulators i think i've got a 12 and a 5 volt that basically the 12 is running these relays here and the 5 volt is for the microcontroller here the peak microcontroller and the eprom here to save the memory right and i've got these transistors that are basically to drive the contactors for the vacuums now i haven't gotten to that part of the circuit just yet just to emulate the closing of the lead i've took a switch here okay then i've decided to basically just feed uh these switch onto the input here so that i can try to emulate the closing of the lead right now this board is already powered as you can see here it's already powered but it's not running yet now it's not working because when i close this switch basically i close the lead nothing is happening most of the control are still working you can still uh, set up your timers you can do everything you want to do but the vacuum sealer is just not working it's time to start probing now from the functional point of view this controller board cannot work unless you have a signal coming onto this connector which is fed into the optocoupler right 
So to emulate that, because I've taken the controller outside of this box, then I have to get some kind of a scenario here. So I've made this switch here to emulate closing of a lid. Then I plug it there, right, on the input. The only problem is, despite doing that, the board is still not working. Because normally, if this is my lid, when I close it, the board is supposed to trigger something. Either the relay must close and to start running the vacuum, and the timer is supposed to count, start counting down once I set up the timer. So that's not working, right? It's not working. Now, I'm not sure exactly why it's not working unless I start testing and measuring and probing because that's the only way I will figure out what exactly is broken here. Because the signal coming here, first I need to know what kind of a signal it is. Whether putting a switch here is actually what is required here. So I have to also try to measure the resistance between the lead. Maybe it is inducing a voltage here with a voltage divider that then can work with this optocoupler circuit. So I have to figure that part out. And just to make sure that I'm getting a correct signal on the output of the optocoupler, and that signal is being fed here, then that can trigger us to control these uh, relays drivers. Because if that part is not uh, running well, if there is no correct signal, I can't get the correct signal here. And that means I won't control this, and I won't control that relay there. Even though I've got my voltage regulations are all working, the board is functional, but the critical parts are not working. Right, so guys, let me know uh, on the comment section if you guys have an idea of where I should start probing to basically get to the bottom of the problem uh, very fast here. If you've come across this controller board before or you've had a similar scenario, uh, maybe drop a comment and we can take it from there. But from my side, I have to start putting an oscilloscope probe and see if the signal is correct or I must first connect the lead as well and see what actually I get from the lead if it's the same profile as putting the switch here. So that's the first part. And if that part is fine, then I cannot blame the controller here because the microcontroller is fine because I can see I'm driving the, the, the seven segment display is running and the EEPROM is also saving the state here. And as you can see, when I power it, it retains the state. So if I change to 8, 9, switch it off and bring it back, as you can see, it returned the, uh, the number 9. So which means the EEPROM is working because it's able to basically uh, keep the settings that you, you enter. So that means that part is working. So that will not be possible if this peak microcontroller was not working. So which means my problem is somewhere around the signal so i have to get to the bottom of that so thank you guys for watching if you find it useful always a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel for more and stay tuned uh, for update on this uh, challenge here until next time cheers